Claire, Shemuel Scott, Luke McFarlane, Nathaniel Scotland. This is going to be a titanic clash between these two sides. Joining me in the booth today, former Barbados National 15s and 7s players, Kevin Murrell. Kevin, talk to me about the excitement. You've represented your country of Barbados. What does it mean to represent a country? You see these guys are patting their crest. Must mean so much to line up with like this. Every time you put on the colors, every time you put on your boots and lace up for your country, it is an opportunity to put on a show and to show everybody in your country you mean business. I remember when I was in this tournament years and years, a lot of years ago, <laughs> It was a lot of fun and it definitely, definitely was emotional and passionate about what was going on. Moments away from kickoff, this is the third to last game of day two of the 2022 RAN Women's 12s and Men's Under 19 Championship from beautiful Kingston, Jamaica. Don't forget folks, this is the first time that this championship has been played since 2019 due to the COVID-19 global pandemic. So especially the under 19 division, this is their first crack at international rugby. And, and Kevin, you know, you can be the best player in your high school and, or your club or your, you know, your community. As soon as you start representing your country and going and playing internationally it changes the game significantly significantly the pressure is even more that you don't even know the opposition this time you don't get any chance to really get used to them unless you're watching them during the tournament everything is up for grabs and everything is open until you get playing We are underway here, folks. Get out, dude, get out. Take it. Who will face Jamaica in the championship final on Sunday? Tackle, get out, dude, get out. There we go, no, we're missing. We're missing. Well, referee for today's contest, Fernando Garcia from Mexico. Early penalty in favor of the USA South Panthers. You see the forwards giving each other some, some kudos after winning that penalty. An early opportunity for the Americans to get some points. That's the hooker there, Charlie Taylor, who's had a great weekend so far. Great week, pardon me, so far. Dominant. It's a kick, yes. Winning that penalty. And that man right there setting up to, to slot this first penalty is Quinn Varster. I've said his name many times so far in this competition. And this penalty kick would, would certainly set the platform with an early three points. Yeah, yeah. That's why we make soft tees. It's interesting to see how kicking has really taken a prevalence in this tournament. Usually you don't see this much kicking, so that means the level of the game definitely is increasing. Players are taking the, ch the shots at post, players are taking kicks in open play, and everything has been very, very, increasing the level overall. This USA South team comprised of players from all the southeastern states. Bit of a banana kick on that one, but it's through the uprights and Arster once again with his patented kiss. We've seen that a few times over the last day and a half. We'll see what, as we just get a replay of that. Not quite his best strike, but doesn't matter. It's through the uprights and that's three points in the favor of USA South. We'll see what K-Man Rugby can come back with. Amen Rugby is on the rise, 7s, 15s, it's incredible to see the growth and development and just the excitement for the game on such a small island, they really do punch above their weight, Kevin. Definitely, I, I do remember playing against Cayman in 7s especially and those guys are hard guys to play against. Well that guy right there, Eddie Weston, coach of this under 19 side and he's an experienced rugby player himself, played in Hong Kong uh, with the national uh, team, he played in the under 20 World Trophy and uh, numerous tournaments, including this one here in the under-19 capacity. So he's a he's a great man leading as the head coach here for K-Man. So an attacking platform here, not exactly what K-Man would have wanted after conceding three points. I will free kick you next time. If you keep that space, you keep that space until I say set. 
Well, right there, that's pretty clear words from referee Garcia. I will penalty kick you next time. That's essentially saying, look guys, I know what you're doing, smarten up, or early on in this contest. I know you've had two days of rugby, but you're young and fit. Let's get on with it. Set. Oh. Here's Austin. That's bobbled at the back. Well, that's an uncharacteristic knock on there from Louis Cruzado. He's had a great tournament so far. And just back to back errors from both these sides. And Kevin, we're playing uh, two games yesterday, two games today, one game on Sunday for these young athletes, albeit the first two days shortened. Are they starting to feel a bit of fatigue having not played much rugby in the last few years? Most definitely. And it's starting to show. There are some uncharacteristic errors shown, especially today on day two. But it's good to see that this, at the end of the day, the kids, the boys are raising their heads and continuing to move forward. This is a development competition after all. We're trying to get these athletes who will be corner or pillar stones of their national programs for years to come. Went out through the tunnel. Same thing. Still a red scum. Well, referee not happy with that one. We're just going to bring it back, give it another opportunity here. Great visual shot there. Only a 1.5 meter push in under 19s as McCleavy picked that one up and tried to scamper downfield. So you'll you'll notice what? that USA, they're big, they're strong, and they get low and they go 1.5 meter. Right. It's really important for the referee to essentially say stop push cool. because they're just that Set. strong. But it's only a 1.5 meter push here in this competition. Stop. There it is, there's the stop call for K-Man. Electing to just boot this one downfield. This could be an educated kick if this one sits up nicely. Rolling just towards that try line. And booted downfield. That one's kicked by Matt Gallardi. And that one just rolls into touch beautifully. Gallardi take a bow. Wow, K-Man tried to pin USA back inside their own half, but that man right there couldn't quite get it. That kick coming in from Matt Gallardi, and that's a big momentum shift. Definitely, it was good to see K-Man putting all that pressure there just now, and also lovely to see how the USA player handled it and cleared the ball, getting ready for another position here. Line out to Cayman Islands, but further down the field, taking some pressure off of USA itself. This is a standard for the holding, all right? How many boys? Four. Referee Fernando Garcia there setting down the standard for these line outs, making sure the players are aware of what they need to stand. What happened? No, they they have one. Chill. It's good. Be good. Be good. I had a chat with him no, earlier. He told me he's in get reference back. in 2012, back. and he's now a yeah, level yeah, three World Rugby match official. So that's pretty big for him. Great to see him, him here at this competition as well as all of our match officials. Advantage. Well, that is not on the mark. Keaton McCleavy gathers that ball up. Let it go, Red. Let it go. Advantage here for the Panthers. Over. Advantage over there as Taylor smashes it up. Over there, Red. Not releasing. No, no. Well, this, it's a penalty for Red. The steal is releasing. good against USA South and some of these young players Kevin they're not really realizing that you know the referee's saying pointing at the red player in red saying you did good but they're thinking it was against them even though the hand was that way so it just comes from gamesmanship and a lot of these young athletes getting a chance to actually play a lot of rugby so K-Man chance to clear out of their half if they can send this downfield off the boot this is Tom Byrne Byrne not trying to kick the kick, take the kick too long down the field, middle. just essentially making sure he reaches touch to set the lineup out for Cayman Island. How many was four? Well, you don't often see a number eight throwing the ball <laughs> in at a break at a uh, lineup. Pardon me. That's Freddie Robson. Let's see if he can get on the mark here. No! 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 Solid line out there for K-Man. Into the midfield, high pass. It's gathered, but it's lost. Here's Varster. Needs a bit of support, and he finally throws this one out. Plenty of room on that far side, but another knock on. Jason Trevino can't get a hand on it. k 
came in, I was using a bit of trickery there and not lying on when it paid off. Good to see them putting some skills in there. Just unfortunate. Trevino's a, a, a hard man to bring down in the contact. He's been such a strong ball runner, but not able to get to into that one. So there was plenty of daylight ahead of him. That could have been a scoring opportunity here for this Panthers side. Very unfortunate knock on there. I'm sure USA is, well, we, the coaches were pretty upset there, but I'm sure the players will pick their heads back up and make some moves here now. Great shot of that low scrum. Here's the shot from USA. Right away, referee Garcia saying, stop. And was initially just saying, that's it, that's enough. And now let's see if K-Man can get this ball out. Oh, and there's the penalty for the USA South Panthers. Not releasing is the call. It just seems like K-Man early on, Kevin, are just not meeting the physical challenge and not really stepping up early on. Yeah, the USA South boys really are putting some hits in and really are getting there and putting the pressure on Cayman Islands, forcing some mistakes and getting the penalty, retaining the ball, and setting themselves up for some more opportunities. Ball into touch inside the 22. There's a shot of the bench from K-Man. Right. Off on the right ear screen there is Javon Bowles. I believe he's the director of rugby <laughs> for K-Man. He's a former Captain. South Africa Sevens player. Had a good chance to chat with him about the, all of his experiences after joining K-Man a number of years ago and just so much growth going on in men's, women's, sevens, fifteens. Getting hands to the ball if it's on the defense, that's great. If you are the one in the ground, you need to let go, all right? It's, if there if there is a pool, they need to let go, all right? Yeah. Referee Fernando Garcia clarifying there, making sure the player is aware that you there's the rule has changed. We need to make sure that once a player comes in, a defending player, sorry, comes in to try to take the ball, wants to give one pull, one good pull. That is their ball. You must release. If you don't, well, you lose the ball. Penalty. Good. That's taken well at the top by Chris Jensvold, who's been a mountain of a man this entire tournament so far. He's got the red beard. Probably the tallest player in this competition, certainly making his size known as a factor. Here's Taylor. No, no, no. Let it go, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You need to pull. Rainbow left, Rainbow left. Rainbow right, Rainbow right. They set. Oh, here's the hard yards here for USA South. Just trying to smash this ball forward, but we have a, a knock on. So Cayman doing well on defense here, but USA South pressuring. You have to leave an availability for me to be able to count. That is true. So I'm just going to scoop my arm and get his shoulder, but he's like this. We'll check it. Your player did the same in the last one, so sort it out. Wow, well, this is just the energy of these young lads, and sometimes they try to let the emotion get the best. Try not to let the emotion get the best, and that's Alex Fox, the hooker. He's the captain for this K-Man side. After every whistle, it seems like he's got a couple of words to the referee, and uh, you know, after a while, as a referee myself, that starts to uh, wear on you as a match official. And we'll see if that plays a factor in this game. Set. Yeah, he has to be careful with that. You don't want to get the referee. You want to keep the referee on your side. Sorry. Yeah. Can you move to that side, please? Five meters on that side. Thank you. I'm gonna reset this one here. All right. I'm sure Cayman Isles is feeling the pressure being so close to their try line with this scrum. We'll see what they do. If they do retain the ball, I expect they will take a kick, but let's see what there is. Now their fly half is lined up directly behind, basically at the dead ball line, right behind the scrum. You gotta think that's a kick. Not much of an angle though. They have to get, get possession on the back of the scrum with a massive shove coming from the USA. It's over there. Just play it. Referee saying, just play it. Okay. There's K-Man sending this one down, but essentially you're not gaining anything. You're basically just kicking in a touch because it's right back where the scrum was taken. Yeah, all he did was move position from one from the scrum horizontally across to a line out. But losing possession here to USA Self. USA Self with a line out here and opportunity to score. Let's see what happens. We have no bubbles. I'm sure Eamon is feeling the pressure from being so close to the try line for so long now. 
and all these opportunities for USA self to put some pressure on them and try to get some points on the board. Here's Taylor. Jensvold can't get a handle on that. That's Anakalia. He's smashing forward. Got to be about a meter shy now. Driving forward once again. Take a step, take a step. I think that was Silkwood. And they're over. That's try time for the USA South Panthers. Picking and going right there, coming around the edge of the ruck and getting that try. Well, that's just the hard yards there, folks. We'll see who's got their hands on this. Smashing forward there, continuing on. That is, I think it's number eight. Yeah, number eight. Number Cruzado. Oh, the big number eight. We've said his name so many times. That's Luis Cruzado. Double thumbs up. Good vision and good effort by that player there just now. Sneaking in underneath the Cayman Island defense and coming away with the try. Here's Quinn Varster. Certainly has plenty of distance and the flags are up. An additional two points. Where's the kiss? There it is. Yeah. Such a showman. That type of attitude only works if you slot it through the uprights. And that's just a great kick there from Varster. Good to see these boys enjoying their rugby too. We do want to enjoy things as well, huh? Oh, absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> It is a hard game, so you do look for those opportunities to enjoy as much as possible. Five minutes to go here in the opening half, says referee Garcia. Like to see Mexico, or uh, pardon me, of uh, love to see K-Man Rugby get something going here, trying to get a bit of fire in their bellies a bit. It's a big collision in the midfield there off the kickoff. Through the hands now, smashing forward. That's the try score, I believe. And this is just brilliant rugby here from USA South. Here's Taylor. Austin is there. Good hard running there. High tackle advantage coming. Over there. High tackle. Referee going to slow things down, have a discussion. Some players getting a little heated, but luckily with that stoppage, she's been able to clear that heat. We'll get these players more focused <laughs> on the actual playing rather than the argy-bargy stuff off the ball. Alrighty. We're going back to the first penalty. It's a penalty for blue for a high tackle, all right? Time back on. Player welfare is the most important part of rugby and any time a tackle goes above the chest line, it's basically an automatic penalty with a potential for a yellow card or a red card. There are mitigating factors in that of course, but that sort of tackle was a bit of a seatbelt tackle over the top of the shoulders and that's just an easy penalty. Nothing too intent, intentious behind it, but it is a penalty and it gives it an opportunity for, for, for Barster to kick another three points from a very easily kickable opportunity from what we've seen from him so far. That's good. I'm sure Cayman Islands is regretting that one there because we don't want they don't want to give it's USA a, a chance to be taking kicks in front we of the post all the time like no this. Move. Well struck, but the flags stay down, missing on the left post. No kiss this time, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely not. Back to a 22 meter drop as we see this one just miss on that left side. Just make sure everyone's behind you, right? Everyone needs to be behind him. 
22 meter drop out now. This one's gonna find the ground, which is never a good thing to do. Coaches don't exactly like when that one goes to ground, but it's gathered up by Grant Silkwood. Get out, Red. Out. That's good, she's good. Here's Austin. Good. All right, no, the ball's been poached by K-Man. <laughs> See if they can get something going here. Into contact now. Good tackle by Taylor. Oh, Hans. Blue got it. But another steal. This one's coming from Mosi. That's no Gianni no Mosi. No, no, no. Number three, side entry. First Unfortunate goal. mistake there after reclaiming possession and losing it now with a penalty. Side entry into the rock. A bit dangerous, so we do need to penalize those things. Let's go! A couple minutes to go here before the halftime break. Still within K Man Reach. This is not a 25 point game. This is only a two score game. If they can get some points here, we'll have certainly have an interesting second half. And they definitely have an opportunity here with this line out here on the 10 meter. Let's see what they do. I, I believe they're going to bring some trickery again and try to claim that possession so they can How get the ball moving and put some pressure on the USA. Self team. Drop one, drop one, drop one. Cedric, move a little bit further. It's 10 meters. It's 10 meters. Cedric, move further back, further back. There you go. That's good. Drop one, drop one, drop, 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 go to the tent, go to the tent, go to the tent, go to the tent. Okay, go, now. Nearing the end of this first half. Really the first opportunity for K-Man inside USA's territory. Swatted back there by David Madison. Into contact now. Show and go. K-Man playing a very simple brand of rugby right now. That's Madison once again, just pick and go. Not a whole lot of scheduled play here. It's basically just pick and go rugby right now. Get out, look at it. This is the last play of the first half, if the clock in the top left corner is correct. Here's the ball through the hands, that one going to ground. The last one, it's a knock on. We're going for the knock over there. Oh, no. That was good. Still time on the clock here. I am happy with that. Knock on. So we'll have a scrum down here now for USA South. Last movement. Owen Fowler? No, that's good. Do you boys know who Owen Fowler is? I don't know. Let's go, Jaden! Feel this, I love the discussion between these young U19 players discussing Owen Farrell and some of the USA players saying, well, I, I know a Will Farrell. Love having the referee Mike picking up what these players are saying. You realize how young some of these kids are. This is an under-19 competition, of course. Set! Number three, pulling down. Penalty. Against K-Man for pulling down is the call. It's the last movement, eh? So it's full time. Are you going post? All right. Post. Last movement. We can, can we sort it out in a second? Well, Quinn Barster electing to go for a shot at goal here. He's had plenty of distance. I think he's probably annoyed with himself that he missed the last one. So he's saying, look, you know what? This one's 45, 45 46 meters out. Let's give it a go. <clears throat> Two games left to go here today. Jamaica against the Dominican Republic and St. Lucia against Cayman. USA South women have already booked their ticket into the semifinals. It's a Who else will moment. meet okay. them? So tomorrow is the women's championship. We've got three matches in the morning, three matches in the late afternoon. Two semifinals, the first of the day. 
and then the championship final is at the end. The men have a break tomorrow. Much much needed after uh, two hard days of competition. And then they're back on Sunday with their own finals. And they're back to 35 minute halves, so 70 minutes of competition. As Varster hangs this one up, certainly has the distance, and it is through! That is sensational there from the young man. And another three points added to USA. And just watch this strike. You could back the posts up an extra 15, 10 meters. And he'd still get that. Maybe not that far. Maybe five meters. You could back it up. Barster, quite the athletic fly half here for USA South. Well, 13 to 0 is the score line here for USA South. We're going to have a incredible second half ahead here, folks. But we're going to take a quick break and then we'll come back down to some sideline reaction here from both these sides. Stay tuned. Back, folks, we are at the UE Mona Bowl, USA South leading Cayman Islands 13 to nil here 
in what essentially is a semi-final because whoever wins this will meet Jamaica on Sunday afternoon for the championship final. Let's take a look at the first half action. Plenty of physicality right off the get-go. USA announcing their presence in this game with a big double tackle and winning the penalty. And Varster, who's been dominant this entire tournament so far, makes no mistake. Here's Anakalia. He smashes his way forward. This is the first try for the Americans. Silkwood gets the front ball going and then gets in the hands of Cruzado. And Cruzado makes no mistake, smashing over. Double thumbs up all the way. And Varster makes no mistake once again on the conversion attempt, making it 10 to nil. This scrum for USA just absolutely dominant the entire campaign so far giving Varster a chance for a 45 meter nudge and he makes easy work of it, landing it with ease. We're gonna send it down to the field now for a couple of sideline interviews with Kevin Murrell. We're here with Edward Weston, coach of Cayman Islands Rugby. Just finished that first half there, just now. How are you feeling about that first half? Um, we had uh, some good phases and a good bit of defense there. Um, I think we're just, we just need to tighten up on the, on the discipline. Uh, we're giving away too many penalties and they got a good kicker who's been slotting some, some goals for them. So uh, second half we'll just try and uh, clean up things around the breakdown and try and play our game a little bit more. Okay, that sounds great. And what are the plans then for later today then? Uh, after the match, what are you guys going to do to get ready for tomorrow? Uh, we're, well, we got the day off tomorrow, so we're just going to get these guys back to the hotel and get them recovered. Yeah. Okay. We're here with Mark Williams, of coach of USA South Rugby. I'm sure you guys are feeling good about that first half. Tell me about it. Yeah, we, uh, we played pretty well in the first half. Uh, a lot better than we played earlier today and uh, still making a few mistakes that are keeping us from uh, going to multiple phases, but we're happy uh, with, the, with the lead at halftime and I, I think the boys are going to get on track the second half. And I'm sure you guys want to close this half out now because you want to be looking towards the finals, huh? That's correct. Yeah, we want to get there and be here for Sunday at 3 o'clock. Moments away from kickoff here, Cayman Islands got an uphill battle facing USA South, trailing 13 to nil. Kevin Murrell, former Barbados national team player, current coach, referee, administrator in Barbados. Kevin, you played in this tournament. Talk to me about the athlete mindset, about what it means to, to not only play in this competition, but now you're you're in deep and you got to battle back. Especially at this level, it was difficult for me. I was only playing for about a year before I joined this competition, so it was a bit of shell shock. But I did have some guys on my team that were very experienced and really pulled it off and really helped me out in getting things pulled together as well. How are Cayman going to rally back here knowing that USA right off this kickoff are on the front foot? I know the coach said that they're going to try to be a little bit more disciplined to avoid giving away all those penalties, start giving them the opportunity to take the points off the kicks. Take a step. Well, take a bow, Chris Jensvold. That was sensational off the kickoff, just grabbing that immediately, giving the momentum in their favor. Driving forward there is Carson Richards. Tackle, release red. 13, no, 13 red, no. Advantage. Good tackle there from Cameron We're Sinclair of K-Man. There's been a side entry from red, thank you. Cade Austin just saying, look, let's just slow things down. Time is in our favor here. He was entering from the side, and then was an offside, yeah. 
Kate Austin, the captain, saying to Varster, who kicked a 45-meter goal before the half, basically saying, "You look, you know what? If you can do it, go for it, because time is in their favor, and they're already up by two scores, and if he makes this, it becomes a three-score game. I'm sure he feels good that his captain is taking confidence in him and giving him the opportunity to put some more points on the board for the team. Day off tomorrow for these athletes in the under-19 competition. Heard from the coach that uh, they're going to get out and they're going to get some recovery in, but also uh, get out and enjoy some of the sights of of this beautiful island of Jamaica. Maybe head over to Ochos Rios. But it's all to play for here on Sunday. This one's got a bit more height to it. Does it have the distance? No, it does not. It's not off the mark as well as K-Man clear their line and just send this downfield. Here's Richards, finds Austin. Good chase on that kick by Cayman Islands. Good. Over the halfway line now, USA back on the attack. Two and a half gone in the second half. Good double tackle there from the K-Man forwards. Pick and go at the back. Here's Cruzado. He's already got one try here today. We'll see what else he can do. Getting his team on the front foot. Here's Austin. It's got sloppy take there, but it's gathered up no problem. That's DeVos. It's good. Get out of there, Red. That's good. Barster spinning it out into the hands now of Mosi. Cutting back there, Macalardi. Get out, Red, get out. No hands, Red, no. Cayman player. Cayman player on the far side of the field, getting a bit of medical attention here. On two offside. Offside advantage here for USA South Panthers. Offside, it's an offside here. Hold it, hold it, no kick. All right, time now on. another player down for K Man. So two players, referee stopping things, just having to have a quick break. There's a good yeah, shot of Javon Bowles. Yeah, let me just fix this. Looks like he's going to take that kick on this penalty. Here's another angle of what happened. Jensfold into contact there is Robert Ayers. Holding his shoulder immediately as he got up on that one. Kick is up. And another three points added off the boot. Can I have the TV person? Of Varster. We're going to. 16 1 16. I need a TV guy. Pause the, the action guy. here for a moment. Referee needs to adjust his microphone. Great strike there. Straight through the uprights. Putting three more points on the board for USA self, just trickily, so slowly, slowly raising the points. Well, we're gonna have a quick moment here. Kevin, the island of Barbados holds a special place in my heart. I was there for a few months earlier this year. Talk to me about rugby in Barbados. I know it's been really difficult the last few years with absolutely no rugby being played, but what's being done on the island to basically get everything back 
underway as quickly as possible. Basically getting the administration right and making sure we organize our matches. The ladies have really been taking off and getting their games in. I know the Sevens boys have been getting themselves ready for that tournament in November. November in Mexico. And our juniors have restarted their practice session, so it's going to be interesting to see them out next year at this tournament, putting in some work. And of course, George Nicholson, who's the Rugby America's North Exco uh, president, who has been on our, our our board for a long time, and he's a former national team player, referee, and the Rugby World Barbados Sevens tournament that's been in Barbados for a long time has, has a new location now. It's in Grenada. Yeah, Grenada Rugby has started up, and they are trying to build their union to, real, to, to, to make their way into these tournaments as well. It's going to be interesting to see that tournament in Grenada now. New location, new country. Colors. Let's see what happens. Well done for George Nicholson and everyone trying to grow rugby quite literally from the grassroots up in Grenada. Everything you need to know about, I think it's Rugby World Grenada 7s on social media and their website. Check them out if you're interested in taking a team down to Grenada, the great festival of rugby. Check them out. Uh, more penalties against K-Man. They're feeling the pressure here. Down 16 points against K-Man. Came from a penalty. It goes across the plane. It's a line out. There you go. Goes across the, yeah. the plane on a penalty. It is a line out. So here's an opportunity now for Taylor. Love the fact that Fernando Garcia, referee, is giving a slight explanation to keep us in tune with what's going on in the game as well. Yeah, it's been a, a, a fantastic addition to this tournament. Is just the communication between the match officials and the athletes, as well as everyone listening back home, can can hear what the decisions are being made. We got a sub from Cayman. They're making subs. Alright, how many is it going to be boys for? All right. All righty, time back on. Here's Taylor. Jens Fold oh, snatches that one out of the air. Hard into contact. Here's Mosey. Release, Red! Release! Stay there, Red. Stay there. Don't move. Don't move. Austin finds Cruzado. He breaks through the line. Finally brought down by Timothy Maldonado Ebanks. Barster can't get a handle on that is Jackson Patterson. So we'll have a knock on here. Blue knock on. Pressure by the Cayman Islands defense there, forcing an error from USA South coming away with the scrum. Right, yeah. Right, it's not the best spot, so I'm gonna take as much time as I need. Okay, let's try to move here, Referee Fernando Garcia moving the scrum around just to make sure we're on some good patch of turf. Keep things nice and safe, keep these boys on their feet. I got 22. Yeah, so you're taking Well, it's back. a big week for USA Rugby. Yeah. The men's Eagles facing Chile tomorrow in Glendale, Colorado in a winner take all match to decide who will be America's two at the Rugby World Cup in 2023. That one's available on Flow Sports. And man, those Chileans, they're doing some fantastic work down in South America, growing their programs. And speaking from a Canadian perspective, they uh, they easily took care of us in, in the Rugby World Cup qualifiers recently. So good luck to USA in that competition. We'd love to see them qualify as America's two tomorrow in front of a sold out crowd at Rugby Town USA and the USA South Panthers here winning another penalty at the scrum time stepping on the pitch now Nick Devoti Alrighty, five-meter line-up. 
We're going for the five? Okay. You're, you're, you're cooking. There, cooking. Matthew Arteta stepping off the field now. He's had a great game so far. Wow, this is a big scoring opportunity here. About eight meters shy from the K-Man try line. Jensvold gets that one clean, setting the drive. Wow, K-Man are on roller skates at this moment, but they've stopped it. Advantage here, offside is the call. Offside. It's a penalty call. There's no clear grounding and going for the penalty, right? No clear grounding, going for the penalty. Offside is the call against K Man, smashing forward just a meter shy. I believe that was Jacob Seiler. No, 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 no. And we have another try. Who's got their hands on it? And it's Cruzado again, I believe. Yes, it is. Yes. That's two tries in the match for Luis Cruzado. The man cannot be stopped. Great run there by the Cruzado, by Cruzado making sure he does that pick and go maneuver. He seems to really love that. Been very successful on it. That's this twice now, right, Brian? Yep, second try of the match for Cruzado. Earlier take there from Seiler getting the go forward ball. And uh, the wheels are falling off this campaign for K Man, but we knew going into this, this was going to be a tough task against them. These young athletes are have not played as much rugby as, as the uh, folks from USA have in recent years. But it's good to see that the boys still have their heads up and they're still fighting. They haven't given up yet. Not the most confident flag lift from the uh, two ARs, but <laughs> nevertheless, they go up an additional two points. That's it, That's it, Good to see the Cayman Islands players, they're trying to put pressure on that kick. Unfortunately, not enough pressure, so USA comes away with the conversion, two more points. Nine minutes, 30 seconds. Nine minutes, 30 seconds. I could cut an entire montage together of just Varster giving love to the camera. Stares at himself for 20 minutes in the morning in the mirror. <laughs> Unfortunate error there by Cayman Islands on the kickoff. Ball doesn't go 10 meters. Ball doesn't go 10 meters, the referee says. So we come back for a scrum, UFC self's ball. Sure you put your right? Referee reminding the players of that new law, making sure they have their brake foot in the middle of the scrum to keep the scrum from shooting forward. So explain that a little bit further for those that don't know what you what you mean, and myself included. <laughs> Basically, the hooker, the person in the middle, the number two, needs to make sure they have one foot in the channel of the scrum to keep their players back. They're using that break foot to essentially break the rest of the players from leaning forward too much. That break foot stays there until the referee says set. When the referee says set, they can move that foot back and then go for the strike. I'm taking notes as we speak. <laughs> it's good to take notes, Brian. <laughs> Just another level of layer of safety being added with the break foot in the scrum. I've only ever been in one scrum and it was uh, when we were down a man and at the final part of the game when we got no subs left on the field and playing wing and they slot you in. It wasn't quite as bad as Johnny May where he's putting his head in the wrong area but I still had no idea where I was going and just was thankful that their big number eight didn't run at me. It was like, okay. Do you remember, do you remember which position you were in the scrum? Uh, I was blindside. Blindside flanker, okay. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah. Well, some subs on the pitch here now. Lovely. Time back on. Eight more minutes. I'm sure you would have been a very feisty flanker. <laughs> I try to avoid contact like the plague, so I'm not really sure about that. <laughs> Bind! Set! Hold, hold, hold! USA without their leader, Quinn Varster. Good tackle off the back there by one of the K-Man players. A little 
Stutter step, big tackle. Number eight. Hold it. Number eight. Eight. Red. Are you number eight? That's a high shot tackle. Five minutes. He's good. He's good. Coach. Well, that could have potentially been a red card as well. Well, that was an automatic dip into the pocket on a high tackle here. So, stutter step there from Richards. The initial contact is made by additional another player. And, well, yeah, he was going down a little bit. So, there are mitigating factors in that. Uh, so, I think the yellow card is probably the right decision on that. It wasn't a direct flying in head contact. The player was coming down. That could be debated for days. Either way, there's a man in the bin for the next five minutes. That's brilliantly taken there by Kane Austin. That's just some great skill there from the number nine. Smashing forward there is Mosi. He's good. He can go. Siler. Now Vance over there. We're going for the scrum. It's going to be a scrum for Rick. Scrum for Cayman. Cayman Islands making sure to keep putting some pressure on these rucks. Not giving USA itself an easy game at all. That's not. Still fighting for as much as they can fight for in this game. They're making us up, I know. We got time. Jack or Jackson? Coach! Are we good to go? John, are we good? John, are we good to go? Alright. Ball is yours. No, it's. It's Red Bull, yeah, Red Bull. Sorry. We have to go. Let's go. I can't see you. Tight, get low. Tight, get low. Get tight, get low. That's the call from the forward pack. Great. Point. Set. Another big shot here from the Panthers. Spun out well there by Liam Sinclair. Out th through the hands now for K-Man. Love to see a bit of flash and flare. I don't believe it. Kai Birch, the fullback. Can't get a handle on it. Looks like he took his eye off the ball. They're just now feeling the pressure from the incoming defender. Out through the hands here. Good string of passes, but just look, took his eye off the ball. You're exactly right there, Kevin. Just was looking at the defense and didn't secure it. That's the thing about pressure. Pressure does make force mistakes. Regardless of what's going on, if you're on defense, come up, pressure the attack, and force an error. Take a step Looks further. like we have some rain gently coming on, just a slight drizzle. This may change conditions slightly. Crouch! Points! Set! Body positioning for Kamen, a little high on the start of that scrum. Once again, USA just sh getting a shove on. No Varster in the fly half position. Good tackle. That ball spilled out of the hands of Patterson. I think that tackle was coming in from Robert Ayers. Nice low tackle, forcing a knock on. Freddie Robson, number eight for K-Man, still in the bin for another couple minutes. Yeah, it's this thing of like rains and then it's tough. Hey, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold Set. Hold, hold, hold. All in the hands now of Liam Sinclair. We're well, not happy with that. I think he's going to reset yeah, that scrum. It's just this. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah. You're good? Yeah. It's all good. 
Safety is important. So as soon as you see something going slightly wrong, just taking the opportunity to stand the players up, have a war with them and reset them in that scrum. A bit of banter here going on between Cayman Islands and USA so looks like these boys are enjoying themselves. You have to put everything into perspective here. Cayman Islands is a population of what, 70,000, 60, 70, 80,000, somewhere right. in there? And you'll find 80,000 80, people in about a 10 block radius in Miami, so a little bit, uh, a little bit of a different playing field for these two sides. That ball kicked downfield. I think it was knocked on though. Say again, Cedric, did it one out from the tunnel? All right, then we're setting it up again. Thank you. Ball came straight out the side of the scrum there just now. Referee Fernando Garcia unsighted there for that scrum, but using his arrows very nicely, getting the call in again, the right thing done. Alright, okay. right, boys, form it, form it, form it. Nearing the end of this match. Both teams back to full strength. Plenty of subs on the field here. Bind! Set! Hold it, hold it! Interesting. There's a bit of a midfield scrum, but two Stop. players back, the far winger on this right side, came out of a ton of real estate if they can move it. Good ball on the outside. Here's the danger man on the outside. He gets wrapped up in the contact. I think that was Karik Once Edwards. goes out from a knock -on. you can have the line out or the scrum. Line out or a scrum? Line out? All right, we're going for well, there's the replay of Edwards getting around the outside, but Cruzado. We don't, we're not handing out man of the match awards for every single game. We're going to do a dream team and a player of the tournament at the end, but Luis Cruzado would certainly be the man of the match of this game. Two tries and just that tackle you see coming across the field there, dragging the... Karik Edwards into touch. He's had a great game, that young man. Sloppy line out here. Advantage for USA South. Tackle from Nathaniel Scotland. Well, Nathaniel Scotland's going to come to the bin for the last couple minutes of this match. Time back on. Bit of a dangerous tackle, I believe. Oh, there, high tackle. High tackle, it is. That one not finding touch. You can see a clear difference in this USA South team as soon as Barster steps off the pitch. Came in just sending this one back downfield. Here's Richards. Good kick, finding a bit of real estate where no one was, and that one just lands into touch beautifully. They can throw this one in quickly if they want. That's full time. No, they cannot. There it is. Well, our championship final on Sunday has been confirmed. It's USA South against Jamaica. And that was just a comprehensive win there for USA. Pretty incredible that USA started off today with a draw against Mexico and they were lucky to have had that and then come back and answer it with a big win to a team that defeated Mexico twice. So who knows? 23 to nil is the score for USA South. They booked their ticket to Sunday's championship final. Let's take a look at the highlights from this victory. A couple of big tackles early on. Tackle, yeah. Anna Kalia and Devo smashing K-Man Rugby and setting the tone early on and giving the penalty. Barster making no mistake of that one, slotting one of the few he gets in this match. That ball 
Anna Kalia driving it forward. Release, Rod, release! Good go forward ball here for USA South. That's Siler smashing it forward. Cruzado, and he's over. First try of the match for the USA South Panthers. Gets a pat on the back for Keaton McCleavy, and it's two thumbs up. Barster, no mistake on the extra two points. Set. Right back on the attack here. Just that driving scrum, setting the platform every opportunity that they get. And Barster, just Johnny on the spot in each of these opportunities that he gets. Good running there from Jason Trevino, but a penalty against Cayman. Gives Varser another opportunity to split the uprights, an additional three points, and take this one out of reach here from Cayman. The Panthers were not done yet, and so is that man there, Cruzado. He picks up from the back of the breakdown, and he's over. Second try of the night for the USA South Panthers. But we're going to send it down to Kevin Murrell, who's on the sideline with both teams. We're here with number 10 of USA South Rugby, Quinn Voister. Voister, sorry. I'm sure you're feeling pretty good coming away from that game, putting on a massive display of kicking there off the tee. Tell me about these kicks. Uh, you know, all came from my dad, really just constantly helping me out, constantly critiquing me and making sure I get every single kick decent. So all thanks to him, seriously. Good. I hope you hear that, Dad. He's very proud of you as well. I'm sure you're proud of him. Quinn, now tell me, you guys are looking forward to Sunday, right? Yeah. Tell me, tell me what's the plan. What's, what, what do you think the atmosphere is going to be like when you guys get back to the hotel? It's going to be great. Yeah, we got to rest tomorrow. Um, we're going to take that time to recover fully and just mentally prep for Sunday. And we're going to bring that same intensity we brought today. So they should watch out. We're coming. Awesome. Thank you very much, Quinn. All the best on Sunday. Thank you, guys. We're here with Alex Vox from Cayman Islands Rugby, yep. captain of the team. Tell me, I know that was a hard loss, but I love the fact that you Cayman boys never put your heads down. You kept putting the I mean, pressure. I mean, the way we played, there was nothing else we could have done. We played our absolute heart out. We knew this was a make or break game. We came here to, to put everything on the Mexico game. We drew with them, then we then had to mentally prep again to then put everything to this game. We knew the US were a very, very physical team. They play like Ireland, pods, pods, pods. We just didn't get enough of the ball. And I mean, some of the calls could have gone the other way, but it's, it's just luck of the straw, really. Nonetheless, I'm sure you guys are looking forward to the next game. Tell me what you guys are going to be doing in preparation for that. I mean, we've got a trip tomorrow, just a relaxing trip, because we've, had, we've just played two days of intensive rugby and we haven't really had a rest. So definitely tomorrow we're going to go to the uh, Duns River Waterfall and just relax there for, for the day, get back, early sleep, and then we're on it, ready for, ready for the game. Sounds like you guys have an awesome day planned tomorrow. You're going to be coming back here Sunday with some smiles on your faces, ready, to rear, ready and rearing to go. Yes, sir. So good, good luck on Sunday. We'll see you there. And thank you, K-Man, for watching us.